you notice that the differences we have between us today for a common cause we have set them aside I'm sure in our midst there are people from so many different walks of life but we have come together to listen to a good word why can't we come together for the sake of Allah for the pleasure of Allah why can't we respect each other and I am saying once again we are not calling on compromising your faith no we are not asking you to give up something to make people happy no you don't just shave off your beard you don't just remove your hijab because you want to fit in because fitting in will never ever end today to fit in you remove your beard tomorrow to fit in you have to change your gender the following day to fit in you have to remove all your clothes and after 10 years to fit in you have to marry an animal it's not going to stop so you believe what you have to let others do what they have to as well thank Allah that Allah has blessed you with respect with honor with dignity with calmness we don't drink we don't intoxicate ourselves we are not people who abuse anything subhanallah we don't do that which is haram we seek the forgiveness of Allah constantly where we have gone wrong because we want peace that is how you achieve peace and we continue encouraging each other to be able to achieve the peace the differences we have in tribes the differences we have in race the differences we have as human beings male and female is not there to discriminate against one another it's not there in order for one to think that I'm above you no it's there for recognition purposes so that you can recognize one another I look at you immediately I know who you are why Allah made you different from me that's why if we were all exactly the same I always say we would need number plates on our foreheads and I would call you six five three three eight nine two five please come forward and then you would come because a big number <laughs> why because there are many many people you would have a number not a name but we have names and people recognize us that's a gift of Allah tall and short and big and small and wide and narrow etc whatever it might be Allah knows learn to love people learn to respect them learn to honor them because the same Quran says to us Inna akramakum atqakum. remember the most honored the most honored in the eyes of Allah from amongst you is he or she who is the closest to Allah in piety if you're close to Allah Subhanallah, you are a better person in the eyes of Allah. You will find that out on the day of judgment. You might not know it right now. You won't know it right now because no one knows it. Anyone who thinks I am pious, I am a pious person. That's the beginning of the end of their piety. Because piety makes you humble. It makes you concerned. Look at Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anh, great man. When the list of hypocrites was out to one companion, he asked him, am I on the list? Allahu Akbar, are you on the list? Such a high level of a person thinking he might, might have been filled with hypocrisy. No, he was not on the list. Great man. But with us, we are nowhere near Umar ibn al-Khattab. And we still think that everything is okay. I am pious. These people are not pious. I'm going to heaven. They are going to hell. When people think others are going to hell, I always say, perhaps you are already there. That's why you can see who's there and who's not there. How can you tell who's going to hell? You there? It's like the uncle comes and says, you know what? I saw your son at the nightclub. You say, but uncle, what were you doing there? Now he's lost. The uncle comes and says, I saw your son at the nightclub. So you say, but uncle, what were you doing there? He scratches his head and he says, well, I went to check if your son was there or not. May Allah forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. We don't need to think that way. We need to rectify ourselves.